Before we examine the neck, let's look at the pertinent structures. For descriptive purposes, each side of the neck is divided into two triangles by the sternomastoid muscle. The anterior triangle is bounded above by the mandible, laterally by the sternomastoid, and medially by the midline of the neck. The posterior triangle extends from the sternomastoid to the trapezius, and is bounded below by the clavicle. A portion of the omohyoid muscle crosses the lower portion of the posterior triangle. Inexperienced examiners may mistake the omohyoid muscle for a lymph node or mass. Deep to the sternomastoids run the great vessels of the neck, the carotid artery, and the external jugular vein, which passes diagonally over the surface of the sternomastoid. An understanding of the following midline structures is also key to a successful examination. The thyroid cartilage, readily identified by the notch on its superior edge, the cricoid cartilage, the tracheal rings, and the thyroid gland. The isthmus of the thyroid gland lies across the trachea below the cricoid. The lymph nodes of the head and neck are identified here using one of several classifications. The overlying sternomastoid muscle largely obscures the deep cervical chain, but at the extremes of the chain, the tonsillar node and the supraclavicular nodes may be palpable. Knowledge of the lymphatic system is important to sound clinical examination. Whenever a malignant or inflammatory lesion is observed, look for involvement of the regional lymph nodes that drain it. Whenever a node is enlarged or tender, look for a source such as infection in the area that drains it.